Shalom, friends, shalom. Rabbi Elliot Salo Schoenberg here, Rabbi Metuchen, New Jersey. Today is June 7th, 2024. We're beginning to read a new book of the Torah this week, Bamidbar. And on Wednesday of this past week, it was Yom Yerushalayim. We celebrated the reunification of Jerusalem during the Six-Day War. I want to take a moment and go back and talk a little bit about my trip to Spain, which I returned to from a week ago. I want to talk about something I learned. So I was in Al-Andalus. I was in southern Spain. But I want to talk about the greatest contribution of Jewish life in Spain, perhaps, which is from northern Spain, the Zohar, written in the late 13th century but connected to Southern Spain and Al-Andalus, because the question is, what led to the spread of the Zohar and to its embrace by the Jewish people? And essentially it's related to the expulsion of the Jews in 1492. Theory one, the oldest theory, the theory of Gershon Shalom was that the Jews were expelled from Spain and bereft. They were grieving. They needed to hold on to something that gave them value and sort of spoke to them and said, we will continue to exist. Gershon Shalom said that led to the embrace of the Jewish mystical tradition, the Kabbalah, the Zohar. A second theory, a competing theory, is the theory of medieval Jewish philosophy and its threat. The conversos, the Jews who converted out from Judaism, were attracted to Christianity, became conversos, mostly because of the affinity of medieval philosophy that said that Judaism and Christianity were asking the same questions. They had similar answers, but the Christian answer of how to understand medieval Jewish life philosophically and rationalism, rationally, could be understood without the mitzvot. That made Christianity answer the right questions and without the observance. And that led to laxity of Jewish observance. And so the Kabbalah, the Zohar, was written to say to the Jews, here you have something to hold on to. Here you have a reason to observe the mitzvot. The third theory is that when the Jews were expelled in 1492 and they went to the Ottoman Empire, they went to an empire which did not embrace, re embrace rationalism or the universality of religion. It had a very closed and conservative sense of Islam and a very closed and conservative sense of peoplehood. And so the rationalism a medieval Jewish philosophy did not resonate in the Ottoman Empire. But the world of the Zohar, the world of Jewish mysticism and fantasy, that very much resonated in the environment of the Ottoman Empire. So those are some theories that explain the embrace of the Jewish tradition of the Zohar, which continues to this day. Shabbat Shalom, friends. Shabbat Shalom.